Hello and welcome everyone. Today we have Pritika Kirvidula, Product Manager, and Paul Inverso, Principal Technical Program Manager, both of them from the Office Platform team, and Jinji Lee, Product Manager from the DevDiv team. They're here to talk about the exciting updates to Teams App Manifest becoming a more unified app manifest. I'm Rabbi Williams, Cloud Advocate, so let's begin. So Pritika, can you share your thoughts on the current developer experience when folks are building apps for Teams or Office? Yeah, so currently the developer experience for building a Teams app versus building an Office add-in is very separate from each other. So historically, the Office add-in developer experience has primarily been based on providing a series of templates that can then be generated through the command prompt, whereas Teams has had an in-application toolkit in different IDEs, such as Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio that provides templates, samples, debugging plugins, and more automated workflows. And the respective templates that you would generate from each experience is also very different. In terms of the project structure and the manifest structure, they have completely different elements in them. So if a developer would like to create a Teams app and an Office add-in, they would need to go through two completely separate processes in order to develop their respective apps. Right. So um, can you walk us through uh, the efforts we're making to unify this fragmented experience. Yeah, so one of our goals over the past couple months is we've been working on bridging the gap between these two experiences by creating a unified developer experience that supports the creation of both a Teams app as well as an Outlook add-in. So we did this by integrating the Outlook add-ins dev tooling into the Visual Studio Code Teams toolkit. And we also proceeded to create one shared manifest file that can support both a Teams application and an Outlook add-in. This new integrated version of the Teams toolkit will now allow developers to create a new Outlook add-in, debug and sideload their add-in, and also create a combined application that contains both an Outlook add-in and a Teams app at the same time. That's amazing. And I can clearly see the benefits for developers here. Now, Paul, my question is more around how does our solution improve the user experience or even promote app adoption across Microsoft 365 ecosystem? Absolutely. Consider how the user experience was before when they had to install and configure apps one by one across Teams, Outlook, and other Office products. With this new experience, they can install the app once and it will appear across the M365 ecosystem. For example, a user installs a document signing app. They can configure their signature once and it will be then available across M365. This consistency of experience will reduce the context switching and allow the user to focus on the task at hand. From an admin perspective, this will reduce the time spent managing apps from securing them to deploying them. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And today I know we're talking about Outlook extensions like add-ins, and I would love to know more about Outlook add-ins. How do they differ from tab apps that can be extended into Outlook? And when is it best for a developer to create add-in versus a Teams tab app for Outlook Pritika? Yeah, so an Outlook add-in allows developers to integrate deeply with the core functionality and workflows within Outlook itself. For example, with an add-in, developers will be able to create a task pane of sorts in which Outlook can read the content of their messages and provide relevant actions based off of the content. So if a developer would like to implement functionality based specifically on Outlook data and existing Outlook workflows, an add-in would be a great choice. On the other hand, if your application doesn't need to tie very deeply into those workflows, or if you would just like to replicate an existing personal tab you already have on your Teams UI, then a Teams tab app for Outlook would probably be a better fit. Right, and we are talking about evolution of this manifest, Teams manifest. So Paul, my question is around, you know, is it generally available now, this uh, Teams or this unified manifest for Outlook add-in? I think we announced the preview of this manifest changes in build 2022. So what's next ahead? Um, yeah, to answer your question, yes, the Teams manifest format is generally available. Over the next year, we will iterate on the manifest and make enhancements to support other Office products we bring into the fold. We're looking forward to receiving feedback from the developers and incorporate that into the manifest roadmap as well. Right. So what happens to the add-ins that are already using the XML format? Because I know previously this, I mean, not previously, in the earlier versions, it's XML manifest. 
Now, do they need to upgrade it to this new JSON structure or will they continue to work as usual, Pritika? So your existing Outlook add-ins that function with the XML manifest will continue to work as always. So you don't need to switch to the new tooling. So the Yo Office Generator experience, templates, samples, and the existing debugging experience will all continue to be supported as is. That being said, if a developer would like to use any of the new extended functionalities that we're providing by integrating with the Teams toolkit, they would need to convert their app to the new JSON structure in order to be able to use these functionalities. That's really good news. Now, enough of the talking. I think we're all ready to see how this manifest structure looks like. So, Jinji, would you like to share and walk us through this new manifest structure? Yes, sure. So, uh, as you can see in my screen here, I have already had a project that contains both Outlook add-in as well as Teams tab app. So, the manifest file you are seeing here is a pretty standard Teams tab manifest file. Um, but on top of this, we have added enhancements to the existing Teams app manifest with a new section called extensions, where you can define a mail that will show up in the Outlook add-in. Cool. Uh, since you're already sharing your screen, I know that Teams Toolkit also now has an app template for Outlook added. Would you just show us a demo of how that works? Yes, of course. I'm happy to. Yep. So um, I have been using Teams Toolkit from Visual Studio Code. So it is already available in the marketplace right now. So let's get started with this demo by creating a new app. We can hit the create a new app and choose our adding option. I'm going with test pen project and using my default folder. I'm going to type a new application name here as Outlook demo add-in. So then Teams Toolkit will start to pull in the template from GitHub and will generate a new project for you. So as you can see in the new Visual Studio Code screen, we have a pretty standard hello world. Outlook add-in project with a command and also a task pen. We also have Azure deployment files, environment variables, project assets, as well as VS Code configuration files. So there are other some standard project required files in order for the project to be able to run and debug in the Outlook. So that's a pretty simple flow for creating a new Outlook add-in project. But if you already are developing for Teams platform and have had a Teams application yourself, and you want to continue to configure Outlook add-in as additional capability to your existing app, you are able also to do that as well. So just go to the Teams toolkit and choose view how to guide. So from there, select configure Outlook add-in capability. This will take you to a documentation site that walks you through all the details that you need to know, as well as all the steps you need to follow to configure Outlook add-in as an additional capability into your project. So that's pretty detailed, and you can just follow through the steps here to complete your flow. So let's go back to our previously created project and debug the app in the Outlook client. So I have already hit F5. So by hitting F5, Visual Studio Code and Teams Toolkit will start to execute the NPM scripts as well as automating a lot of debugging tasks for you. So you will see a Webpack server has been started that will going to execute all the tasks for you. So if you are the first time that's running this in Visual Studio Code, so you will probably spend a little bit more time by NPM install. But after that completes, you are able to see your Outlook add-ins on the upper right side as two ribbons. Now let's click Show Task Pen. You will see it open up on the right side. And let's click Run. You will see your email title being extracted. Now let's click Perform an Action. You are able to see a small notification under the email subject. So that's pretty much the demo. Fantastic demo, Jinji. Now coming back to the manifest, Pritika, so there is this XML manifest already available. If you want to convert it into this new format, is there tools available for us to go ahead and do this now? Yes. So if you already have an existing Outlook add-in project with an XML manifest, 
there's two options for you to be able to convert to this JSON manifest structure. So first, you can proceed to run your project folder through an XML to JSON converter tool by using a CLI command that's shown in number one of the slide. Secondly, there's an option to import your existing add-in as is into the Teams toolkit, and it'll be converted to the JSON structure prior to it being opened in Visual Studio Code when you start with your application. So those are the two options you have to bring your existing Outlook add-in into the Teams toolkit. Amazing. Thanks so much. Do you have any case studies that you want to share with us today, Kritika? Yeah. So we've actually had a lot of key partners utilize this new unified manifest specifically, and we've heard a lot of positive feedback about being able to expand their application to other hubs without having to develop two separate apps, which is really great to hear for the developer experience itself. But in addition to the improvements that we've made there, We've also heard from our partners that they envision this having a really large positive impact upon their user experience as well. Nice. So now we're unifying Office apps and Teams app into a single project and Outlook add-in is starting this thing off. And what is next considering this is a huge journey, Paul? We're looking at building on top of our Teams and Outlook efforts and apply them to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. As of now, we are in the planning stages of bringing those capabilities to those Office products, and we're excited about the opportunity we'll provide app developers. Awesome, excellent. These are all great updates. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you, Pritika, Paul, and Junji for being here. And if you would like to learn more, visit the link down below, and thank you all for watching.